Cool. All right, Matt, can you message me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good. We're good. Damn right. Is that Coach Breeden or Breden? Breeden. Hi, Breeden. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Thanks for the invite. Awesome, man. Awesome. Heard a lot of good things about you. Huh? Likewise. <laughs> Don't believe half of the stuff Matt tells you, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> I always say, you know how you can tell when Matt's lying when he opens his mouth? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, he's yeah, the best. That's, Matt that's is the best. He's, Matt, Matt is the most loyal dude out there, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He only had a sense of humor, though. He's not too funny. <laughs> awesome. We're going to have a good time. Can you see me? No. You have to start the video. All right. Coaches, we're going to talk about our stream package, laser rocket missile, mostly missile, getting our athletes the football in space and get our – getting our linemen downfield and, and um, you know, getting in the way and making, making things happen. So we're going to have fun with this. This is what we usually put in um, during our series when we want to excite our offense, get it, a little energy boost, you know. Um, we got guys just being athletes and getting in space and getting the guys the football and quick hitters and we um, – you know, high completion ratio of stuff we do. High completion, um, making them think we're throwing vertically down the field or we're going more horizontally and sucker punching them inside. It's pretty cool what we do. Um, good. All right, now, let me just start right now. I'm good. I'm just. Oh. oh, damn, that's ugly. All right, hold on. I don't want that. All right. Okay. You guys good? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. We're going to start out with missile screen. Again, what we do is real simple. I mean, laser is to this third. Rocket is to this third. Missile is in the middle. And we have hand signals or we can verbally say things out there. So we know what we're doing. So. First, the rules. First, our skill kids. If the running back's not getting the football, he swings. Whatever side. So I could put him on the left opposite. I could put him on the right and swing to give a really uh, – that we're running a swing pattern to kind of over-pursue. It depends on the team we're playing. We can move him anywhere. I very rarely put him in this uh, a pistol just because I want him to not be uh, indecisive which way he's going. But it doesn't matter. Receivers – we have them just clearing, just run, run fade, run fade, or run any route you want, all right? We let it, but mostly it's fade. Um, we can tag a quick screen to the backside, so we can go J-missile gov, J-missile now. So we have a, um, a protective screen in, in case, for some reason, we didn't think it was open or the quarterback didn't think it was open. But for the most part, we stay with it. Our tight end, if he's in the game and he's in the box, we just have him run clear on any screen. Laser, rocket, missile, he's clearing. He's trying to take the safety out, and that's that, all right? Now, our alignment. For our missile, we, uh, our tackles kick back, and their block is to block the first guy that's outside him. In other words, it's going to be over top the inside receiver. He's going to kick back. And then he's gonna, going to show high helmet. And then he's going to kick out the outside backer, strong safety. And that's probably the most important block. The backside guy, we had the same thing. Because we want both tackles to think the ball might be going to either side. So we don't, we don't say it's coming from the right or coming from the left. So both tackles and also all our linemen are expecting the ball to be coming different angles. Our, our guard is going to kick back and block the first linebacker in the box to his side. Uh, and to the backside, same thing, because now we can run it either way. It doesn't matter. And the center kicks back and blocks the most dangerous guy in the box. That's it. That's all. We don't overcoach it, and we go with it. So sometimes we might get a double team to one side to the other. It doesn't matter. We want to show high helmet and get up field. Our inside receiver, we run bubble screen to death in, in, in our other schemes that you probably heard 
uh, the other two days. But we're going to run bubble to set up this block, this backer. We want to get width so he expands so we can kick him out and then come underneath it. So we're, like we said before, we want to protect our favorite plays. Our favorite screen is the bubble screen. So we're going to run the bubble, and then he's going to retrace his steps onto the track and get underneath and, and catch the football. So that's what we do. You got to do something with this guy here to time up the route. I don't like him just standing still and then going. I don't like him going vertical. I hate teaching this vertical and then come back underneath because now he doesn't catch it behind the line of scrimmage. He doesn't. So we stay behind the line, run the bubble, which buys time for the lineman to go downfield and then come underneath into that. If we do it to the outside receiver, again, I don't like that it that he has to push vertical and then come underneath because of the behind the line of scrimmage, but that's what we teach it. That's what we teach it. I like hitting it with the Y, I mean, the J or the Y. When we do it with the tight end, we have him pass pro and then reverse out and then go back underneath. Big hit and play we have for a tight end. Tight ends are the forgotten dudes in offenses. We can go empty, put this guy here, all right, and have verticals and then ha have uh, the tight end come back down around. Now, our quarterback, we want our eyes vertical. We usually run the missile to the right side because it's a natural progression with the quarterback dropping back. If I'm going to fake a handoff with jet sweep or to the running back, we will throw it to the left side because his shoulders are already going in that direction. It's that simple for the quarterback. So our quarterback drops back one big, two small, and throws it. Make it look like our five-step drop. All right, now laser to the left. We are going to run it to the outside receiver all the time, and that's our now screen. So I taught you how to write la type laser. Pardon? Who taught you how to type laser? <laughs> So, so our blocking now, inside receiver, if he's at six yards, he pushes to three. He goes half the distance, and then he cracks him. We want to create a push with the guy on top while we're cracking the outside guy. The tackle to this side, he pass bros the whole time. These guys are, he's kicking out the guard. The center pass bros and gets in the hole there, and then the guard here, and then this guy, we usually do two things. We actually have him on a pass pro, or we just kick back and just try and clean up somebody. So we kind of like flood the zone that we want to go. There's laser. Our running back swings opposite. What we like to do is put him and load, run our handoff here like we ran bus, fake it, kick back, and then throw it. It times up better. Or we could jet sweep the guy, which you'll see in our stuff. If we want to run with the running back, run, we just go um, in our terms, whatever we want to call it, running back, laser, swing. So we would go just say laser, and we would say swing in our terminology. Now the running back would hop and then go to time up with the lineman so it's a, a quick screen. Because what we do is sometimes we're running our five-step drop, and we say, hey, that swing was wide open, bro. Let's do it. So we're going to go, okay, let's get the lineman down downfield too especially this team blitzing and then we just outman them and you'll see that uh, up, 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 up. okay this is rocket rocket all right let's get the plays going we i mix everything in here we also have slip screens too where our running back goes inside underneath that way i have a couple in here right here so here's our plays these are our plays that explosive plays that we do all right, so now we're going to run Z Rocket. It's going to go to the guy up top, the running back swinging, and these two guys can do what they want, and you're going to see him make a play. This is against Shore Regional, a state playoff team. Very good. Um, getting our kids in space. Now, you might see linemen. Uh, there are times because we, we just coach them to get into an area, but our linemen are also guys that give us headaches the next day too. Sometimes you see them turning around, but that is our rule. Don't turn around and look for the ball. Just block in front of you. I hate when linemen look back. For what reason, I don't know. If the whistle didn't blow, don't look back. But you will see that in our clips. But yet we're still getting big yardage on the plate. It's big headaches. 
One, two, three, slide back, boom. Now he's just an athlete, <clears throat> making plays, 77-yard touchdown. All right, now we're going to fake it. Now we're going to fake our, our jet motion. So we go fly, and we just go laser. So we're going to fly with this guy going down here, fake it, and then he's going to block him. Oops. This guy blocks him, and then we're going to have a guy blocking here, a guard here, and then he's coming back inside and doing here. Sure helps when you got an athlete like him who had 45 offers that went to Penn State. Gets the ball, and he kicks back. So he goes vertical to set up the block and then comes underneath. Goes behind the line of scrimmage. This is a state playoff game where he makes a nice play for us right here. Puts the athlete in space. Again, putting the athlete in space. So we want to get their eyes going one way with the jet sweep action. Our back's rule is real simple. He just always swings. I mean, it looks like that he's blocking to that side, but his rule is swing. That's it. Lyman downfield, and we got to play. It's great. We don't have to coach it. Now, this kid right here was awesome. He was a converted quarterback. We put him at receiver two years later. He was first team All-State, a receiver. at 64 catches right here. Just a tremendous athlete. He was our backup uh, quarterback. So his junior year, we made the move. We're running Z missile right here. Now he's in pistol. He can swing either way. I don't know which way I had him to go this way, but – as you'll see, the kid makes a play. Boom. Just makes a play. And we're, we like to throw all different stuff vertical down the field. Your internet is catch is unstable. What does that mean? So, Rob, you, you guys aren't engaging the, the defense alignment at all, are you? Well, they're supposed to go, Matt, they're supposed to go high helmet, hit, and then go. But sometimes they just go. You know? All right. They do. Sometimes they do. This is – my year, this is all my years. Say right here, all we want is high helmet. Matt, if you, if you go high helmet and let's just say D lineman um, stays there, we don't want to get initiating a hit. We just want to show, pass, and then go. That's all we do. Show, pass, and go. Because listen, those D linemen here, they're lazy asses too, man. They might just sit there and do shit. So we don't want to dance with them. See how they are? This is yeah. what we teach. They're like a bunch of zombies, these D linemen. If they see nobody between them and the quarterback, their pupils get really, really dilated, and, and they look and they see sack. That's what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six guys not making a play. Six guys. And that's what we want. All right? Now, this kid right here, my tight end, isn't running vertical. He actually looks back, and he's blocking. They're clogging up. This isn't like a sound blocking scheme, but yet we scored a touchdown on it. So we're constantly coaching it up. All right, here's this, this, uh, this year we're playing. We couldn't move the ball a lick. First drive in the second quarter, I said, we got we to gotta put um, our missile in right now to do it. First play in the second quarter helped us win this game against this team, very aggressive. This team was man on us, couldn't do anything on them. So we got them susceptible to this and we got him in space won the game eight to six up oh, nine um yeah eight six all right now look at this quarterback throw throwing his ball we're faking the jet sweep he kicks back and he throws it now he's not very smooth doing it he looks very unathletic doing it but we still get a touchdown in this just because he set it up the fake of the action here sets up the lineman getting there. So the time he fakes it and throws it, we already got an overload of linemen to our left side in our laser. I couldn't hear what you said. Watch him throw it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Well, it looks like our quarterbacks for this upcoming year. Yeah. But you know what? He still gets credit for a 70-yard throw or a 60-yard throw. Fakes it, and while he's doing that, boom. We tell him to flick a booger. That's it. And all of these schemes, our blocking is the same, depending, even though we're giving it to different guys, our missile or our, our rocket laser. Now, this is a call, we call it rocket swing. That means he's getting the football. We're going to clear out with these two guys, 
and the lineman are blocking rocket to the right. We're just going to give it to the tailback. We said, let's give this kid the ball in space, and let's get five to ten yards. And he put it, he got 60, but he got caught. You'll see him. I can't control that. Look at that. Made a play, made a play. All right. All of a sudden, he gets tackled at the one-yard line by this dude. One-yard line. <laughs> so, whatever. I'll still take that. All right. Same kid, Manny Bowen. Um, we're doing it again. We're going to run our jet sweep. First play of the game, we played him. Fake jet sweep, fake kick, and throw the football. You're going to see the block of this big tackle right here. 325-pound tackle. Bang. He blocks. The guy over top right here, you'll see that. And because he's the guy that's going to know there's a screen, and we make a real nice play right here. Look at this. Bang, boom, that's it. That's it. And we don't need that type of block, but just make this guy have to go around. This team was very good this year. It was a good game. Pushes vertical, gets it, get in the hole, nice, touchdown. Sure, nice. I mean, I didn't teach the kid to run like that. I just get him into the second level and do it. He makes guys miss again up top. Same kid. Same kid. He just makes people miss. We just want to put him in space. That's it. That's it. Good. All right. Now, we're going to run um, the Z. There's nobody outside this guy. And what I want to do now is put this guy in motion here to, to, to make them think we're getting – I did. Ready. What's up? I did. I had I, – We're going to make the running back I, uh, uh, pre, uh, pre-snap motion to create width to give the illusion we're going outside and we're coming underneath with this guy with a screen. Okay. Why? Look, everybody's getting wide. Get underneath for a 58-yard okay. completion. We're – Mixing yeah, it up. He's doing much better. Yeah. Now, we're running it to oh, a double. Uh, twins, sorry, twins, inside that. receiver. He's going to whirly bird, come back here. Terrible blocking up front. Gets congested. His backup plan is the swing guy, and he hits the swing guy for 53 yards. All right? Cloudy play. He's your outlet. It's not open. Where do you throw it to? Throw it to the running back. Now, he went upfield too quick but he still was able to get a secondary thing. So our outlet pass, let's just say if our pants were down, you could throw it on the ground as a dead ball, or you could throw it to the swing, which will be open. The swing will be open. At times, we will put a now route to the backside too, saying, you know what, we can throw it here if we didn't think it was. But we didn't do a good job blocking up front. They kind of were staying flat, not good. We hit it to him, 53 yards. Quarterback needs to know all the time what to do if it doesn't work. Now we're running. Um, they're in man. This team is in man. So we go in motion this way and run the swing to the left because we knew they were in man because we thought that we'd be able to outman them with our linemen. This is a third down. We knew on third downs that this is, there would be a man. Give it to an athlete. All right, get our linemen downfield and do that. Again, this is all our film from 14 years. All right, we're running. This is actually this year. We're going to run our J-missile right here. Um, same thing here. Push, push, look downfield. Quarterback wants to look downfield. Don't stop. If you stop, if you catch and stop, those zombies are going to be coming upfield, and they're going to stop. We want to draw them. So we want to slow play like we're looking downfield, aggressively down the field. So they're coming to you to create space between our receiver and the alignment right there. So you want to make sure that you sell it, eyes downfield, trust it. One, two, three. And we want to catch it outside the tackle. So when we catch it, now we go into the tunnel right here. We don't want to catch it in the middle of the field. We don't. We want to catch it out here. That's why we get with. Get with with the bubble. Watch this guy. When you get with, it sets up the block on that inside guy. So now he can block him and get in the tunnel. Get there. That's it. 
That's against a rarity team, really good football program, state playoff team. All right. Now, magic. Mag magic to me means this. If I say magic, magic to my running back, it says you're in empty. I want them to make a check. And then all of a sudden, you're in a backfield making them look like assholes when they have an empty call. So we just go magic, magic. And then I'll call missile in my hand signal with a term X or a hand signal. So we just go magic, magic to create a different, because defensive coaches will not check out of things. They'll say, hey, our empty checks in, you know? So we kind of confuse them. So, all right, we put them there. We're running the missile. Push them back, push them back. Again, when you run it, look how many white jerseys are not involved in the play right now. One, two, three, four, five, and this guy's the backside. There's six guys out there, and we know these guys are going downfield with him getting a football. That's a play for us. Again, we're going into our no huddle, and we're doing this, and we're creating um, advantages. Get him the football. Bang. This was a state playoff game. We won 30, 34-31 we won this game. Quarterback threw just under 400. All right. Spread right, running back rocket swing. It's going to the right. Now, this quarterback here was a sophomore. He was quarterback, and because our other quarterback had to sit out 30 days, another sophomore. He kind of – his step, he got what he had to do. He got to get the ball to our athletes. He did it. Instead of taking three steps, he took one step to throw the swing, hit it too quick, but as you'll see, he still gets yardage on this. Catches throws. We didn't even get with yet. I would take – Three quick steps so they couldn't react. But as you can see, those four guys had their heads down and didn't give a crap. But that's the only coaching point I would set to him. Not one step, three, one, two, three. Because he didn't even get with yet. So he's catching, he's right here. He's not even wider than this guy. We lucked out because he pinched on it and we threw it to the boundary. I would just go three quick steps and throw the football. One, two, three. Because the three quick steps would also make these linebackers drop. Drop. We lucked out, but we got the athlete to ball in space, and that is the backup quarterback that did it. So, you know, you got to be a little easy on them, and that's that. All right, now we're in empty. This is, God damn, 2009, 2010. We do a bubble screen to this side, and then this side is running the missile. So he's going to get with and come underneath. Quarterback looks at this play right here and says, if I don't like the bubble, I'm taking three, uh, uh, five quick steps to throw to here. All right? So we have him drop straight back to drop here. He did not like the bubble, and he wanted to hit the net. Uh, this is built in. This is a, a two screens built in one. Linemen are blocking just for the missile. Drop, 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 get him the football. Uh, that's that. That's it. We could do that out of empty. Just – it's a two screen thing we do. We also do double screens. Uh, hold on. This is our first year of football. We kind of ran it back to the other side, which as an athlete, you can do. Can't argue if he scores a touchdown. All right, another wrinkle, trade the tight end. We knew playing this team, when you traded the tight end, they would play tough to the tight end, and they always came off the edge. So we're trading the tight end, running our missile screen with this receiver right here uh, to set up the big play. So we trade them. You see they're all talking, communicating. They're not even thinking about it. They're blitzing off the edge. That's what they do. This is our rival. It's coming off the edge, clears it out. Thank you. We set it up. They were textbook. They always did. They always had, if he was in this, we do this, and we kind of caught them. We clear right out. Clear right out. One, two, three, rhythmic, get him the football. That's it. All right? And then gets his 25, 30 yards with that. All right. Um, we're running inside missile for this guy. Do you think? One, two, three, drop back. He buys it. He's <laughs> actually just buying time by patting his feet a little bit right here, knowing that when he does that, let him clear. Nobody's kicking out this kid. We didn't block it right, 
but we still got big yardage. Somebody's got to block that guy. Somebody has to block this guy right here. We don't want it to be cleared out and this guy right in his coattail. Nope. All right, now we're in empty. We're going to run it to the Y, the tight end. So we're in empty. We throw vertical. We, we, we run our waggle. We, we, we RPO. We do all that stuff. But now he's the forgotten dude, the tight end. Once he goes high helmet and blocks and reverses out, gets the football, all right, he's got the middle of the field to himself. When we first started putting this in the short conference, um, they, I think that we created – a new thing out there by throwing a screen like this to a tight end. Nobody was doing that to him. Drops, drops. All right, look for the football. That's it. And we go vertical. We go vertical. That's it. Everybody's pushing vertical. All right, no linebackers sitting for him. Look for the football. And that's it. I love throwing to the tight end in the box. Love it. Love it. All right. This play was a big play, but we were downfield and we threw it vertical and they didn't call it. We're trading the tight end. That's it. Trade, trade. Trade the tight end and run the missile to the other side. So we want to give the attention, hey, we're trading to this side, and then we throw it to the other side in the J missile. That's it. Everybody's rule based, knows what to do. We're going fast, pushing out wide. There we go. That's it. The time they react, you're going to see defenders, because they coach up, too, the other teams. They're seeing sometimes, hey, watch for this screen. And it's hard to watch it if you're a DN. If you see the DN, look, he gets wide and comes here. Good. We're taking away. We're slowing down their rush. So we're an RPO team. We take away blitzes with second level, and we slow down first level guys with our screens. That's pretty comfortable for a quarterback, knowing that you're not getting a major rush with that. Now, some teams will di uh, diagnose two guys to, to be going upfield no matter what, and another guy for a screen, that's fine. We find out who's, who's waiting for a screen. Usually, it's a big 350-pound nose guard who says, I'm sitting for a screen. That's because your ass ain't going to the quarterback. That's fine. Call it what you want. So that doesn't affect us. Now we're going double tight. Nobody would expect us running back to the missile, get him the football, and that's that. I look at this. When I do it, I say, I want to get to here. What can I do? Forget these dudes. Get them out of the equation. Let's do it here. Get them tight, clear out, and then throw the ball. That's all we do. Yep. Nice. Cool. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. This is a rocket swing. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. Just get again. When you're running a swing screen, you know it could be out of your five-step drop where the lineman ain't there, or we say, you know what? Can we sneak the lineman downfield to that right side over here by swinging them? So we would call it. Just run a rocket swing. In our terms, we would call something else. Go down the field. Go down the field. Lineman's down the field. That's a play. That's a play. And you know everybody can block down the field if the ball's behind a LOS line of scrimmage. All right. Good. And that's the biggest concern. You hear other teams going, they're down the field. Yes, we're catching it behind a line of scrimmage. We can throw vertical if we're behind a line of scrimmage. All right. Jay Missile, again, up top. We're doing it out of center. This is our earlier days. And the football has against Manasquan, Matt. It's Manasquan. Um, big play. All right, we're going to the tight end now. Again, this is in a rainstorm. Get him the football. Good. Make plays. That's it. J Missile. Now what we do here, this is fourth down and 10. All right? And this is, um, we said, let's put him in motion. We're going to put him in motion here. Get all the attention thinking we're going here, and we're going to run the screen to this dude right here. All right? There's another receiver out here, too. So it looks like we're running some type of swing screen. We're going back underneath. Watch how wide open it is. It's fourth and ten. He's going to motion. Get the eyes. We wanted to put the guy in motion before the snap to get the eyes. Get the eyes out there. 
Look how open it was. That's it. Fourth and 10. Eyes, he's still bubbling to get. Look at that. Nice. That's what I like. I love that. I love doing this. We do pre uh, pre snap motions, I guess, to get the eyes. His rule, he's bubbling no matter what to create the illusion we're blocking for him. He goes underneath. Bang, bang, get there. I love it. Good. My dog loves it too. Good. All right. Now, we played West Stafford. They're solid football team, state champs, um, traditionally. Um, we knew that, what do we do with this? When we traded the tight end and then swang this guy, we would have him open in second level. And this, if you know West Stafford, they're, they're power, right? We knew that they were forget about the tailback and this. Forget about them. They're coming. All right. And again, this team right here is a state top 10 team. So again, when I press pause, when I'm watching this the next day, one, two, three, four, five dudes that are not involved that we have to block. I'll sign up anytime. So we get into football here in space. You get the ball. That's a good play. That was our first play when we played them. It slowed down their their pursuit, their rush. All right. Gun fake. Now, all we're doing right now on this is on fake, we fake the handoff and kick straight back just to play around because we're going to throw it out here to our zig. We fake in a pistol. That's it. I just told the running back to go somewhere else. Fake. All right, wide missile, tight end again. You just played around with empty, get him the football. That's it. Uh, slip screen. All right, slip screen right here. We do it many different ways. All we're doing right here is getting underneath the blocking of the tackle and then look for the football out in this window here. And look for the football. He slips in. Same blocking. He goes underneath, don't block, look for football. Look for the football, that's it. That's all we do. We do it at a pistol, load, rifle. We do it also opposite. Now, we, now he throws it over top. That's a scary play, but um, that was our first year we were doing it. We, we cleaned it up. X laser, fake, watch this. <laughs> he still gets it to him, lineman downfield, and there we go. He still gets his play. All right, X missile, doing it to different people. Now we swang the back the same side. Swang. Yeah, swang, swang swung. <laughs> That's my Jersey accent, right? All right. No, we can the, there. the word swang. <laughs> Matt, if you coach with me, you're going to get a lot more laughs that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is against Raritan. This is with um, Bennett Jackson. From the – there he's right there, Bennett Jackson. No, Bennett Jackson is over here um, that played for the Giants. Good football program here. And we went empty, played around. In the there we go. That's it. Some years we tell the tackles to stay on, give it – you know, sometimes with good programs we want to do that. X missile here. Yes. You know what's funny? I get yelled at too. I have me or my coaches yell out when we're doing it, pass, right? And what do these guys do? They run up, right? And I had an official going, you can't say that. I can't yell out pass? What do you mean? So we sometimes, okay, we yell out pass, right? Pass. When you say pass to defenses, they're coming or they're dropping. So we want to create separation. Pass. And we throw it and we do that. We get them in space. That kid right there, that big kid, he's a screen guy, right? Yeah. I'm looking for screening, right? Yeah, right. Good. All right. Now we're in empty. Oh, my bad. Pistol. We'll go Y missile. This week we had him go to the opposite side. Look, look, because we thought, because he cleared out. Plus with the tailback going to that side. Cool. 
we used to run double screen where we used to read the, the front side end and throw to the back side and do all that. All right. Now we're thinking, again, again, rocket. That's it. Our blockings are, listen, we're hitting different people, but we just go laser rocket missile, same aim, same aim and point, different person get into it. And that's that. Again, they're in man to man, third down. We knew that. This team always does that. The guy runs with them. We're going to put the running back on the linebacker. There we go. That's it. We knew that. We knew it. You, you're consistent. These, some of these coaches are constant. Third down, we always do this. We had trouble moving the ball on second down of these guys. I was, can't wait to go third and 10. Scared me second and eight, second and five. When it was third and 10, third and 15, we knew there were man. We knew what we could do with him. We ran rubs. And this is a rub. My coaches thought I was whack. I was looking forward to third and 10 because we knew we would set up these plays like this with that. Sometimes defensive coaches are very predictable, especially when you're going no huddle. Now we ran, we're running wide rocket to the tight end. We got creative. We had him kick back to here with a jet fake action right here, and we played around with it. Fake the handoff. Go, go, man, go, go. That's it. Just getting the ball in a rocket type of area. And that kid right there, that kid went to Purdue. Big kid. All right, now we're going to run Y missile, but he's now an inside slot. So he knows he's going to buy time, so he's going to probably push, get underneath, so the linemen go downfield. Inside guy. Now he's pushed inside, there. He loved that. He pushed vertical. Very smart kid. He went to Holy Cross. Push vertical and get underneath. That's it. Get the athletes the ball in space. That's all we're doing. Athletes the ball in space. Now, we knew we played central one year. They said every time we put this tail back in the game, we swang them to do certain things. So we put the, him in the game, and they're screaming out, the swing, the swing. Yes, we're swinging here to have them over-pursue to come back underneath. So we used their scouting report against them. So you're going to watch them all going to him. They're going. They have a predetermined. We go underneath. And this play was fourth down. Oh, my third down and goal at the 16. We got a touchdown. That's it. So you can swing them either way. And it's real simple. I just put him in a load. If I wanted him to go to the right, just go rifle. You know, you put him in the pistol, you have to mercy which way he goes. So we tell him which way to go. J missile right there. Get him the football. We don't do this usually out of center, but um, again, we want to protect our other plays right here. He runs this really well, gets underneath. Look at a clearing in space. When you're running this play, coaches, catch the ball out here, out here, out, 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 out. Now run in the middle. Now run in the middle. Don't catch it in the middle because then he's got to play, you know, a um, little bit of volleyball, throw it over top of people. Our quarterback does a really nice job knowing that he's got to throw it to the right, look to the left, and he's keeping his feet moving, keeping his feet moving there, bang. This team was tough against the screens, so we had to really coach it up, say, this is what you got to do. Eyes downfield, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That's what we do in our head. We give a 1,003 count in our head, and that's like their three-step, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, bang. 16. All right. Now, let me just show you double screen that we do. Da, 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 da. Double screen. All right. Here's our double screen. We, it's called a read, uh, you, a read screen. Guys, tomorrow we're going to do something else. I don't know, maybe jet sweep. We, we kind of toss it. So you guys all say, oh, you pad your stats. We toss it underhand, and a kid catches it. And in his stats, he'll have eight catches. Who gives a shit? It's 10, 15 yards. So you got your line coach yelling at me. You got this. It's still yardage. We're going to do our jet sweeps. But here's our read screen. We read the, the um, defensive end on a swing, one, two, three, pivot, and throw it back the other way. All right? And that's another thing. I'll do exotic things another, another time um, with that. Bottom line, guys, is have fun. Get your athletes to football in space. Um, have, it, have it real simplistic with your bigs linemen and go 100 miles an hour that's what we like to do and that we go no huddle terminology 